Generally for ETP proper functioning ETP operator play a very important role in plant. ETP plant operator is the main key resource of plant. An ETP operator who will be the responsible person for the overall ETP operation and maintenance. In this video we have discussed what question asked in ETP interview of operator and supervisor post. Let's start topics. Question number 1, difference between nitrification and denitrification? Answer. Nitrification, the two-step biological process by which ammonium is converted first to nitrite and then to nitrate. Denitrification, the biological process by which ammonia is converted to nitrogen and other gaseous end products. Question number 2, what is the main advantage of submerged MBRs over side stream ones? Answer. Submerged MBRs are generally less energy intensive than side stream MBRs, as employing membrane modules in a pumped side stream cross flow demand high energy consumption due to the high pressure and volumetric flows imposed. Question number 3, what are the advantages of MBR against conventional activated sludge processes, CASP? Answer. As a wastewater treatment technology MBR is considered to be a superior technology compared to conventional activated sludge processes, CASP, in which a membrane replaces secondary settling tank of the conventional ASP to separate effluent from activated sludge. The main advantages of MBR technology compared to conventional activated sludge process are Small aeration tank and footprint due to the higher mixed liquor suspended solids, MLSS, concentrations and also higher volumetric loading rate, lower sludge production, and improved effluent quality owing to membrane filtration. Join our community. Join our Facebook page and Facebook group. Also join our YouTube channel. Link is given to video description. If you new in this channel please subscribe channel and click the bell icon for update notification video. Question number 4, difference between preliminary treatments, primary treatment, advanced primary treatment? Answer. Preliminary treatment. Removal of wastewater constituents such as rags, sticks, floatables, grit, and grease that may cause maintenance or operational problems with the treatment operations, processes, and ancillary systems. Primary treatment. Removal of a portion of the suspended solids and organic matter from the wastewater. Advanced primary treatment? Enhanced removal of suspended solids and organic matter from the wastewater, typically achieved by chemical addition and or filtration. Question number 5, difference between secondary treatment, tertiary treatment and advanced treatment? Answer. Secondary treatment. Removal of biodegradable organic matter, in solution or suspension, and suspended solids. Disinfection is also typically included in the definition of conventional secondary treatment. Tertiary treatment. Removal of suspended solids, after secondary treatment, usually by granular media filtration or microscreens. Disinfection is also typically a part of tertiary treatment. Nutrient removal is often included in this definition. Advanced treatment. Removal of dissolved and suspended materials remaining after normal biological treatment when required for a very question number 6, what does critical flux concept refer to in MBR context? Answer, in MBR context, based on the definition, no fouling is observed below critical flux, while above critical flux fouling occurs. If you new in this channel please subscribe channel and click the bell icon for update notification video. Join our community. Join our Facebook page and Facebook group. Also join our YouTube channel. Link is given to video description. Question number 7, what kind of pre and post treatment is required for MBR systems? Answer. The selection of pre and or post treatment technologies is a function of feed water quality, discharge requirements, and application. Typically, Screening is required prior to MBR in order to protect membrane surface from any possible damage caused by aggregates of hair or debris. Question number 8, what is the purpose of aeration in an MBR system? Answer, there are two main reasons for aeration, to provide dissolved oxygen, do, for maintaining a viable microorganism population for biological treatment, to keep MLSS in suspension. 
Question number 9. What is stabilization in wastewater treatment context? Answer. The biological process by which the organic matter in the sludge is produced from the primary settling and biological treatment of wastewater is stabilized, usually by conversion to gases and cell tissue. Depending on whether the stabilization is carried out under aerobic or anaerobic conditions, the process is known as aerobic or anaerobic digestion. Question number 10. Difference between anoxic processes and facultative processes? Answer. Anoxic processes, the process by which the nitrate, nitrogen is converted biologically to nitrogen gas in the absence of oxygen, i.e., denitrification. Facultative processes, biological treatment processes in which the organisms can function in the presence or absence of molecular oxygen. Question number 11. How can one determine whether or not membranes are fouled? Answer. Fouling propensity of the membranes is evaluated through monitoring pressure drop across the membranes, which is referred to as transmembrane pressure, TMP, and recovery rate. High TMP values and low recovery rate indicate that membranes are fouled and need to undergo cleaning. Join our community. Join our Facebook page and Facebook group. Also join our YouTube channel. Link is given to video description. If you new in these channel please subscribe channel and click the bell icon for update notification video.